Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is time for December favorites. I missed last month, there just wasn't anything that I was using that was new, that I was in love with, so I just bypassed last month because I don't want to bring you guys things that I don't actually like or weren't actually my favorites for the month. So if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, but this month there have been a few things. So I got this in my birch box. Maybe this month, or maybe last month. I don't remember. I got this in my birch box. It is Devine's. It is a relaxing, moisturizing fluid, and I have been using this like crazy. It's a small sample, so I haven't been using it every day, but pretty much. It just does. It relaxes my hair. It just makes it straighter and smoother and just much easier to manage and to style. So love 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 that stuff to the point where i might buy the full size of it these next two came in a freebie box that i got from sephora i got these using my points and they came in a kit and i really liked them so this is the clinique turnaround overnight revitalizing moisturizer just a tiny sample but i have used all of it that i possibly could Potentially the day moisturizer came with this as well, but it has glitter in it for some reason because that makes you radiant Not my thing, but this has such a nice Texture and formula and just feel on the skin to it when I woke up my skin did feel really nourished and just fresh really really like this and Then this is the Clinique chubby stick sculpting highlight and then it goes into words that aren't English. <laughs> um, but it is a just a shimmer stick. So you just draw on the shimmer that you want, wherever you want it. I put it right here on my cheeks today, a little highlight. And I've just really liked it. It's not overly highlighting. It blends out really nicely. Super easy to use. It's not glittery or chunky like some highlighters can be but I've loved adding just the little bit of glow I'm not fully on the contour highlight bandwagon but I have really liked using that another product from my subscription is this Dr. Brandt pores no more pore refining primer it blurs pores so nicely it has a sort of tinted color to it. Let me see. Or it's just going to explode out of the tube. That's fine too. But it has this sort of tinted color to it and it smells like tea tree oil, which is amazing. So it looks tinted, but it goes on really, really smoothly. Doesn't add any color at all and just fills in where you want it to fill in. You can do it over makeup, you can do it under makeup, doesn't matter, but it has really filled in the pores that I have on my cheeks. I'm not wearing it right now, so if you're like, um, I can see your whole pore face. Not wearing it right now, don't judge based off of that. I probably should have today, knowing that I was gonna film this, but I didn't think that far ahead. But really been liking it. Um, it is just a tiny sample size, and I know that this is pretty expensive, so we'll see if I get the full size or not. Next, this has cropped up in quite a few videos. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Gold Eyeshadow. The color is Eternal Sunshine. I've used this literally almost every day. I've had a gold eyeshadow problem lately. It's just this really pretty gold color that you can kind of sheer out if you want to or wear it in like a deep golden eye if you'd like to. It stays put, it stays in place, and I just love the gold shimmer eye right now. I'm like obsessed with it. I have been loving, loving this eyeliner also from L'Oreal. It is their Voluminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner. It has this kind of funky felt tip to it, so it gets really fat and then goes really skinny, and the area right here is sort of tapered but it produces where can I produces such a nice sharp line if you want it to it can be really fine and precise it's just easy to make a wing it stays in place 
it isn't fussy, it's relatively opaque, um, relatively like deep black. I've just really been able to get a lot of control and be able to like start to nail down wing liner, which is not easy. I am wearing that on my eyes right now and I've been loving it. So if you guys are looking for a nice black liner that's not crazy expensive, that one's just a drugstore, try that one out for sure. All month long, I have been loving this body lotion from Bath & Body Works. It is the Twisted Peppermint from their holiday collection this year. It says the notes are cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, fresh balsam, and a hint of musk. It just has a really nice peppermint smell without being overwhelming. It's definitely like a peppermint marshmallow sort of smell to it. I love using it every day. Oh, it just smells so good. It's just really festive without like screaming I'm trying to be festive. Just love, love, love this. And it does have a slight cooling effect on the skin. Not enough to make me cold. And if you don't like that, you may not like that, but I really like it. I've also been loving this cleanser from the Boots Number no. 7 line. It's from the Beautiful Skin range and is their melting gel, melting gel cleanser for normal to dry skin. It says, one simple step to perfect clean supple skin. It is, it's just a melting cleanser. It's sort of like a thick oil. You just get a little bit on, just massage it into your face. It takes off makeup, but it doesn't strip my skin. It's just really, really nice. And it has a nice sort of subtle, I have no idea what it smells like, but I like the way it smells. It's nice, really good cleanser. I like how it makes my skin feel and it has not made me break out. Then lastly, this is a typical favorite, but this is the Fresh Balsam Candle from Bath & Body Works. I love that it makes my house smell like a Christmas tree, even though I already have a Christmas tree in my house. It just helps to enhance that Christmassy feeling. Like you think Christmas, you think Christmas tree smell, they just go together. And this one is amazing. It is fresh and it does smell like a Christmas tree. It is exactly what it says it smells like. Um, the notes on the back, breathe in the invigorating fragrance of snow dusted balsam, fir trees, and eucalyptus leaves. It's brilliant. I've burnt almost all of it. I have just a little bit left. I probably will finish this out because why not? Why wait and make it last till next year? I'm just gonna burn it now. But those are all of my favorites for the month of December. There weren't a ton of them, but like I said, I don't wanna show you guys things that I'm not actually liking or using. So I hope you guys really enjoyed watching and I hope to see you in a video real soon.